Hey everyone, this is Candace Sipos again with JSA back uh, for another live interview at uh, DCD London here in Islington. A, a quite a British weather day, I would say, wasn't it? Uh, it's quite rainy and and uh, steamy and uh, you know a little humid out there. We, we have all the seasons in one day. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> yeah we're getting a little bit of everything outside yeah. right now, um, but uh, inside it is very buzzing and and happening and fun in here. Um, so I'm I'm very excited to. Uh, um, have Peter Hannaford, uh, CEO of Edge Nebula, with us today, an industry veteran um, who uh, is on um, his latest startup uh, venture with Edge Nebula. Um, so thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. And last starts up. Well. Yeah, last. <laughs> first, well, latest and last, we should say. Okay, so we will jump right in. And if you could just, um, since you haven't been on JSA TV, I, I don't think speaking about Edge Nebula before, could you speak a little bit about your unique approach to the market when it comes to this latest startup? Yeah, I mean, look, we started, um, I had a recruitment company just before mm -hmm. this. That was my last venture. And we were having a lot of requirements for people that were that needed uh, mm -hmm. for, for clients that needed to find people that needed to find powered land. Mm -hmm. So finding land and power for these you know, huge data centers mm -hmm. was becoming a big issue. Um, and so uh, I was talking to a couple of people and they told me that they'd converted a couple of their offices into little data centers because mm -hmm. post COVID there was a lot of real estate uh, empty. So I looked at the UK and found that, yeah, we had, we got about 30 million square feet of unused real estate. And I'm thinking, why are we plowing up fields to build data centers when this, you know, we've got hiding in plain sight, we've got all this real estate. And I wonder if it would be possible to build a network of data centers, a mesh of data centers from uh, from from uh, unused real estate and stranded power. Power was the other issue. We couldn't find, you know, gigawatts of power, mm -hmm. but you can find smaller pockets of power. You know, so 500 kilowatts and up, there's quite a large amount of power available in those pockets. So if it was possible to link them together, then I thought that might be a neat idea. So that's yeah. how it started. And uh, and that's where it is now. So we've, we've gone on a bit. The market's changed uh, quite a bit now. Uh, and it seems that, you know, we're moving very much towards the edge. So it's probably good timing, I think, I hope. Yes, absolutely. It seems like you're in the right place at the right time with the right idea here. Um, but you've also had some amazing ideas throughout your career. And so we can talk about that a little bit. So you've had an extensive career in the data center industry specifically and uh, some early innovations like the first water cooled rack shape. Um, so how does that kind of feed into your vision for Edge Nebula? Well, I suppose it's still think it's it's. It's thinking about new ways to do stuff, I suppose. Um, you know, when you're, I've always looked at the horizon rather than down here. So mine, mine is more of a very long-term vision. And, and yeah, we were having problems then in cooling, in cooling racks. Servers were getting uh, more and more dense. Racks were getting dense. Cooling was uh, more required. So we thought, you know, in those days, uh, all the cooling units were against the wall. And it used to blow the air under the floor. And it would, you hope it came up in the right place, mm -hmm. and then we thought, well, this is crazy. Why don't you, why don't you bring the cooling unit closer to the to the to the servers themselves, closer to the the heat source? Mm -hmm. And we thought, well, what's closer than putting it in the rack itself? So we we developed this uh, this rack with a vertical cooling coil, um, and that uh, we sold that to uh, APC. We patented it and sold it to APC, and then I went to work for APC, and then. Uh, they got bought by Schneider Electric. So yeah, but that that rack, that that development, APC took the rack, and they took the coil off and made it into a separate product. And that product became uh, pretty much the de facto standard for cooling and data centers. Incredible. That's an, incredible. Um, and I love how that's kind of feeding into your current company. Um, and so also you were at a pan you were on a panel yesterday um, yeah. here at DCD London where we're live streaming um, to talk about central cloud versus edge AI. So can you give us for anybody who may have missed that panel, unfortunately, a little bit of like what was the highlight takeaway? Well, that? we spent most of the time defining what the edge is, of course. Yeah. So. <laughs> right, of course. As uh, you nobody know. nobody could describe what the edge was. For me, it's distributed compute. So the whole the whole sort of uh, panel got into the, the question of of central versus distributed compute. So a lot of the talk was about this true, and and uh, you know, unusually for a panel like this, we were all in violent agreement that distributed compute is.
the, the obvious question aligned with thing on, you know, everybody's lips at the moment. Um, and the way AI is working at the moment is there's no doubt that these large data centers, the hyperscalers, have got the market in large in the large language models. But when we come on to look at inference, inference is the point at which AI is monetized. Mm -hmm. And that's when you're going to get smaller and smaller sort of requirements. You won't get the big hyperscale requirements. And that is a, a natural place for, for the edge. And so that was generally what we all agreed on the, on the panel yesterday. Hmm. Love that. Well, thank you for the, the Cliff Notes version. That, that is very helpful. Uh, I don't know if Cliff Notes is much of a thing here, but in the, in the States, <laughs> Cliff Notes is important. Okay, so um, last question beyond kind of the, the technical benefits of distributed compute. Um, so we want to talk a little bit about community impact, which is also a very, very hot topic um, all over the world right now. Uh, definitely in the States, we're talking about this a lot when it comes to um, data center community impact. Um, so can you speak a little bit about Edge Nebula's approach? to that well we're certainly looking to be you know inference is all about getting closer to the to the customer to the end mm -hmm. user and so we are very much focused on uh, urban distribution um, so in urban environments and we're you know we're, we're not we're not using generators in our approach we're what we're developing is a is a mesh mm -hmm. of compute effectively so a number of nodes that are connected together so if one fails if the power fails you fold the load onto another one so it's a pretty green approach, no generators. We're not building anything. So there's no embedded carbon in construction. We're using existing real estate. Yeah. And then the other neat thing we're doing is we're using the excess heat to feed into district heating systems, which are becoming, uh, we don't have many in the UK at the <laughs> moment, but certainly there's a lot of talk about having district heating systems where we can plug our, our excess heat into the district heating system or into a building and reuse the heat. Yeah. So that's the idea. So yeah, it's a pretty, we think it's a pretty great approach, ticks a lot of boxes. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. I, I feel like we got a good, well-rounded overview of what's going on at Edge Nebula. So um, for, for anyone who wants to learn more, where should they go? Can you? Uh, they can go to the website, www.edge-nebula.com. Mm -hmm. uh, and all our contact details are on there, yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us it's today. It's a pleasure. Nice thank to talk to you. Absolutely. Okay. Same thank to you. you. Thank you. Good luck out there in the British weather that we've got going on. <laughs> I've got London my umbrella in my bag. Don't yeah, worry. Good, yeah. good. good. Uh, thank you to all our viewers back home for hanging out with us live from DCD London. Happy networking, everyone.